day sambona ninjani uh, my name is umpumelelo kamshe ngoshabala luka kutungala mavusu mavusa mshopi officer ya nakuba guyena uh, so today guys uh, i just want to speak about um, the key important things you need uh, when you gonna travel uh, from south africa into china obviously most of us are coming here as esl teachers and maybe some uh, who are students but then this is specifically for my first timers uh, and these are the important things you're gonna need to take on the flight with you to china okay at number one uh, you have the most important thing uh, it's the vpn uh, evpn in groups they will call it the microwave uh, evpn as you know uh, here in china it's illegal to have or facebook it's illegal to have uh, or whatsapp it's illegal to have even on youtube and all these platforms which are mostly western and the chinese government doesn't allow them but to use the uber and access to these things you would need a vpn so one of the best uh, vpns i've been using for the past three four years is the astral um astral and you pay uh i think it's three thousand it's between three thousand to four thousand rands uh, when you exchange it for e subscription yunyak uh, so that's what I currently use. Uh, it allows, I think, uh, four or five devices because I use it with my partner and we also use it for the laptop and so on. But then, yeah, you, you pay like uh, between 3,000 uh, to 4,000 rands, uh, if I remember specifically. Uh, you just go online, Astral, you want to type Astral, who's will register Lapo, uh, put in your bank accounts uh, with the SSA South Africa or wherever. And then they're gonna charge you and then you're gonna be able to use it uh, once you're in china it also works perfectly uh, even during uh, rainy days when some of our vpns can't access the internet freely uh, astral tends to work uh, much better than amani or you can also find contacts i also have contacts of a guy who who also gives out some vpn for as little as 100 rmp per month uh, so this guy I can just type his WeChat handle uh, below LAN uh, where you pay 100 uh, RMB per month and then he provides you with the VPN. Uh, so this is the most important thing you're going to need, especially if you figure for the first time in China and you want to communicate with your family back at home. What you're going to need at number two is a medication. Uh, so medication is very important. I've seen uh, and heard some people say that uh, when it comes to Chinese medication, they, it's kind of not strong as what they used to back in South Africa. But I think probably it's because of the regions, uh, the way our bodies, they react differently to different medications. But they say AI learning medication seems to be a bit weaker compared to what they used to back in South Africa. So you got to have uh, a flu medication. It's either you bring a mepolini, you bring tablets a mepolini, you bring painkillers, you bring uh, the, the normal stuff, you know, the normal stuff uh, for flu, headache, uh, period pains, uh, unless you have some chronic uh, serious conditions and stuff, then you need to bring your insulin and so on. But medication is one of the most important things you're going to need to bring. Even in made lemon because I found it difficult to totally make lemon. So every time I come here, I always bring made lemon yami. The maple and, and this tends to help a lot because there was only last for a whole year or six months before you travel back to South Africa, Pindoland to stock up a, a, on other medications and stuff. So you're gonna need a medication you know you can't survive with. Even for listening to lazy eating, uh, for the ladies, I don't know, Conjo, what do you call this? You know, when you have uh, problems in the metamorphologist and stuff for the skin, the, these tablets, women tend to use so you're also going to need them uh, if you're going to travel here because uh, Tuluguti, uh, the type of skin here in china is not the same as back in south africa so it's kind of difficult to, to, to adapt in these regions so it's best to figure the medication from south africa that you used to also ngisagui dermatologist and stuff for the face uh, you're going to need a face wash and all these things or setafila banbani uh, they do have a sense of filler here in china though uh, because i know these things because my girlfriend obviously use them but then you all know what you'll use as women so you're gonna need these things because sometimes uh, they're expensive especially if 
they're gonna be imported uh, into China so they're gonna cost a lot when you find them here in China so it's best to just travel with them and remember what may look for suitcasing and not bring it uh, on board with flight so whatever is big net or shell cool more than 100 ml you have to put it in a suitcase we check in here both so that way you're gonna be able to come in with some of uh, the things at number three uh you're gonna need hair products uh, obviously so you're gonna need hair products for your hair especially as we african people we have certain type of hair we have a candle cleaning yeah, so you're gonna need these things you're gonna need hair products you're gonna need hair food you're gonna need whatever you call these things for your hair because when you get here in china you're gonna have a problem trying to find what you used to and even for a shampoo because i know my girlfriend is struggling a lot to get things like a shampoo specifically for her type of hair so just bring those things and make sure go to you pack them in your suitcase uh, when you come to china from south africa so that's another important thing you need as ladies and how much you die be sorted indeed sunlight everything be in a hair sunlight so another important thing uh, that you must bring uh, Lana in China when you travel from South Africa, you know I love my food. I used to be called those sticks while growing up uh, because I was skinny, uh, but in Angi like a cool and you can see now I'm a bit chubby. But then the most important thing that you need to bring uh, this side are spices. You're gonna need spices. Why? Because Chinese spices are very different uh, to South African ones. And they don't use onorok. See, they have some kind of different things that they use here. And even their food, the way it tastes, it doesn't taste as bad at home. So you're going to need this easy to listen to. Yeah, sorry about that. It's a bit windy today. Uh, but then, yeah, you need spices. You need to go ekorimazi. Figure up tangy barbecue spice, tangy mix masala, tangy iwet masala, tangy izili all these things you need uh, to cook lots of stew specifically the sandy stew samawako back at home so you're gonna need those things you're gonna need you know roxy uh, even ama sachets of a soup uh, you're gonna need them because i don't think they have them here in china so if you know how to cook like myself and you know what you think for you you need to bring spices you need to buy a lot of spices like I'd go to Rima's and pack like a hundred rand barbecue with scallop, like hundred rand barbecue spice, hundred rand uh, steak and chops spice, and if I get zilga fifty rand, like and make sure it's gonna be enough for at least six seven months uh, until I return back at home. Uh, another thing you do find these things uh, in South African shops. There are people who sell South African products uh, such as Oaro but then they don't have. Uh, a variety of choices of these things so even the spice sub it's not as good as okorimas and so on it's a bit weak yeah, but, but then you're gonna find it but i urge you see if you love your food and you don't want to miss home bring your spices bring your norox bring your massages and so on you're gonna need these things and to sasaglini you're also gonna need uh, at least two, two kg when poop two kg when maize Maize, guys, we love our pap, we love our putu, and here in China they don't have that thing. And what I found online, especially on WeChat, uh, there's this guy who also sells in maize. It's just different. It doesn't taste like him. In Yala, it doesn't taste like he is. So uh, I just, people, touch it's okay, you forget suitcase in, and you won't have problems. Every time you miss home, every time you want to make that Sunday porridge, you're going to take out low 2 kg when pupu and make your porridge. And make your pap and so on and another thing even when it comes to rice china has a variety of rices i do not like uh, their rices specifically uh, because it's wet and it's small and also if i buy like um, uh, these basmati rice uh, from all india or pakistan it's just not the same as the one we used to in south africa you know we speak you know uh and caroline it's just different from these rices and the quality i don't know i have to admit with the quality of south africa is based or maybe it's because we just used to it but then i prefer as yes, a south africa so pass out 2kg of rice like 2kg and fagi pupiako of these uh, things and you're gonna thank me later because you're not gonna miss home because you, here in china you can even cry uh, while missing a chicken licking missing your mom's curry but then if you got these things you're gonna be much better in, in a better position you know 
So do remember to put these things. The two last things uh, that are very important. Uh, one is WeChat. You need to set uh, up your WeChat. Um, be it your was who sets in South Africa, but you're gonna need to set up your WeChat, especially when you're gonna land in any airport here in China. You're gonna want to communicate with whoever's picking you up if you're not being picked up by the school uh, or, or your friend who already has WhatsApp. But if you're gonna be picked up by a Chinese, chances are they don't have uh, WhatsApp, they don't have any other app besides WeChat. And at least you will pay if you can't uh, access what WeChat because it's difficult to download and register WeChat currently. But then you're gonna need WeChat. And lastly, you're gonna need to set up uh, your your bank account in South Africa. Uh, for instance, uh, I use UKP Turkey and Standard Banking. Uh, Standard Bank is giving me a hard time here in China. Uh, so, but then Capitec is easy to do transactions. I can withdraw money here in China using Capitec. Uh, so you just need to go to the bank, notify them that you're leaving uh, the country for a certain period, and then they'll activate to seven like overseas. And another thing, there's also FNP. They say FNP is very good when it comes to international transactions and traveling, but they charge shit a lot. I know my girlfriend's complaining every day. Would he? They just take 100 and something, 200 and something, and they just say international fee. So, FNP is for the rich. Yeah, bo. So, it's best in Jewish, like Capitec, when they say people using Capitec don't have money queues, what I want, don't worry. Here in China, you're going to be alone, Google, in Capitec, and the charges are still much less than other uh, banks provided in South Africa. So, do set up your bank accounts uh, before you leave. And the most important thing, the most important thing insurance so such insurance uh, some experts uh, use U discovery so do go to discovery online uh, contact them via email ask for a quotation and this is just to assist you especially with travel insurance should anything happen to you while here in china and perhaps your school doesn't provide you with insurance to cover your body and send it back home uh, U discovery can assist you with that it's discovery made on Kokele foot, but then yeah, do make sure what you source out your insurance. We are tired and of seeing people in groups asking to get the order and a thousand because someone's body is stuck here in China and they need this money to take it back to South Africa. So, people are sitting must enjoy a solama thousand here in China, but also remember to do the most important things uh, to, to, to take out the stress away from our families in case anything happens to us. So do remember Uguti Ulunga insurance. And the best flight to take uh, based on these things, also if I go to KG, and I, it's best to book with Ukata because they allow two suitcases. Uh, I think it's 24 kgs each. each. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's 24 kgs uh, each uh, suitcase, so you can take two uh, per person. And obviously, so one is going to be full with two gold, or two kg, the things that I've been counting. And the other one, you're going to put your clothes and stuff and so on. So that's one of the best airlines to use when it comes to this. I'm not sure if Ethiopian Airways also allow two luggages. Um, but Emirates, I know it doesn't because the last time I took it back home, it didn't. I didn't mention anything about two suitcases. It was just one something kg uh, suitcase. So do remember to also look at the flight here. Suitcase. I'm a suitcase out too, so you can come in with all your things and leave nothing at the airport. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you've reached this far, uh, do remember to like, subscribe, and comment down. Follow me on Pumelelo on your Facebook. Um, on Instagram, but you can also get me on LinkedIn ID as Umpumelelo Mshengu. And I will catch you guys on the comment section. Do ask anything, free advice, and also ask about a VPN. I will sort you out, guys, with that context I was talking about. Thank you. Take care. Dango.